What's up, guys? Bloody Masquerade here. I'm back. Finally. Uh, update video came out uh, about a couple hours ago uh, from the time of recording this. And I hope you guys can understand my decision to remove all those gaming videos. I just want to move the channel into a different direction. Mainly reviews. Uh, I got one for you today, and I'm really excited to bring this one to you because there haven't been any good reviews of this tablet. Like, n literally no actually good reviews of this tablet. It's all, you know, older stuff because it's older. But I wanted to cover it because it's Wub Wolf Wolf's main Osu tablet. It is the Bamboo. It's one of the smaller Bamboo. It's a pen and touch, just like the Intuos that I used to use for Osu. It's old. But he still uses it. I want to know why. Starting off, I'd like to talk about the aesthetic. It's very clean. Uh, very, you can kind of tell that it's from the mid 2000s, probably early 2010, late. I think it would be around 2008 to 2010 is what it kind of looks like. It's got a nice matte front with a contrasting glossy buttons and a nice long light to go in between the two buttons to kind of differentiate where your fingers are. It also has like a, a kind of a glossy border around the main active area. And on the bottom there are a couple rubber feet like usual. On the side here you can see there's a red Wacom kind of polyester loop to hold the pen in. It's not too sturdy but it's you know pretty decent if you're uh, if you're traveling. One of the main drawbacks, obviously, as you can tell, is the non-detachable cord. I feel that was like a big thing when they introduced it with the Bamboo Create. It's the much bigger, more well-designed uh, tablet that they have, more towards professional users. So the fact that they didn't include a detachable cable on this one kind of tells you, or kind of shows you how they were trying to cut corners or cut costs making this tablet so they can so it can be the more budget friendly option. It kind of boggles my mind a little bit because the Intuos was the Intuos came out at 70 bucks for the non eraser edition and uh, the non touch edition basically. And that one had a removable cable, so I'm wondering maybe it's just because it's old technology, but then I think the Bamboo Create had a detachable cable, so I don't know what's going on there with that. But it's whatever, honestly. If you're going to be traveling with it, just make sure you don't wrap it around the tablet itself. I'd like to talk about the drivers for a second. They're obviously outdated, but they are Wacom drivers, so they're flawless install. Basically, basically plug and play as long as you can get the drivers on your computer fairly quickly. It's, like I said, it's seamless. Editing the active area is really easy. It's just like a drag and drop box, kind of re like resizing a window on Windows. I kind of see why Wolf Wolf would prefer this tablet over other tablets. Uh, number one, his hasn't broken yet. Number two, it's really easy to edit the active area of the tablet. So if you get a new monitor, you can just go into the settings and easily switch around your uh, active area. So if, say, for instance, you get a 4K monitor, you're still using this uh, tablet. You can just shrink it down a little bit very easily. No problems. Just save it and go. Um, one issue I did have with it is every time I unplugged it and plugged it back in, it would make the both the monitors the active area instead of sticking with the same active area so i would have to reset it every time i think that might be a glitch with my software or it's just a glitch in general that happens with it it's not too terrible honestly it's it's not game breaking or anything like that um the pen is fairly comfortable i'm kind of upset that it's you know it doesn't have a grip on it usually wacom pens even the bamboo pen like the bamboo create pen um kind of looks like the intuos pen the uh, older Intuos pen, it had a little grip on it, like a little rubber piece on it, so that it felt, you know, it didn't slip out of your hands very easily, but this is like a straight up just matte plastic pen with a single glossy side where the buttons are, and it's, it's honestly, it's kind of, you know, it's really hard to keep in your hands, you know, comfortably. It's very slippery, and it's just like a tube. There's no um, convex areas where it flares out near the tip of the pen. So it's kind of, you know, your thumbs have really nowhere to go. So you end up putting your thumb on the flat edge where the buttons are and you end up clicking the buttons and it's just a terrible time altogether. The pen itself, it's just weird. The eraser tip, the eraser end is flat, so it's not like a, a regular eraser feel. It still, there's an eraser on it, but it's just 
flat for some reason. Like you used it already and, you know, it's been worn down a little bit. Kind of recessed into the pen like usual, but it's just, it's a weird looking pen. It's a tube with a flat edge and that's all it is. The XP pen had a really good pen with the flared out end so that you could, you know, hold it comfortably. The whole thing was rubberized so you didn't have to worry about any, you know, grips coming off or anything like that. And it was fairly easy to hold in the hand without it slipping out. Uh, one thing that really, really irked me about this tablet is it's a, it's a Wacom tablet and the liftoff distance is terrible. Now, I got a comment in my other video saying that, in my XP pen review, that if I held the pen right, the liftoff distance would be ter wouldn't be so terrible. But, you know, some people hold the pen like I do, with kind of like on the side of my hand, you know, kind of sticking it out a tiny bit so you don't have to like hold it like a regular pencil. Um, I've recently changed my grip though. Um, now I hold it more like a regular pencil, but the liftoff distance is still terrible, no matter which way you hold it. Coming from the Intuos Pen & Touch, I'll blast a picture up right now. Coming from that one, that one had amazing liftoff distance. It was about maybe an inch and a half before it finally cut out. And that's a lot of distance. So you could easily use it the way I would use it. So that's why I, that's why I harp on the liftoff distance so much. If you're making an Osu tablet specifically for Osu, like the XP Pen was, you want to take the liftoff distance into consideration. Now I know a lot of people can't get the pen and the digitizer to work, you know, in harmony very easily, especially when it's coming from, you know, a cheaper company. I'm not saying XP Pen stuff is made cheaply. It's just, you know, cheaper. It's the budget option. But coming from a Wacom tablet, it's just why? Why is the liftoff distance so bad? Maybe it's an earlier model or I don't know. But it bugs me and Honestly, I'm <laughs> I'm getting really close to buy just buying a pen and touch, an earlier pen and touch. I'm very close. Drawing the drawing experience is fairly you know similar to most Wacom tablets. It's a 2048 pen, you know, with regular plastic nibs. It's not anything super special. Uh, it just feels like any other you know tablet. The other the main thing that's different from the Intuos and this one is that it's more of like a 16 by 9 aspect ratio the active area is and on the um on the newer intuos's into i <laughs> on the newer intuos tablets it's more of a 16 by 10 so it's more of a squarish uh active area instead of like a literal widescreen it's weird honestly it's weird so um overall using this for osu it's not too great to be completely honest um, I would prefer the earlier Intuos Pen & Touch with the eraser pens. Um, it's alright. I guess Webwolf uses it still because that's, you know, it still works and that's the tablet he's been using. So, I mean, in conclusion, it's okay if you really want to spend, for, for some reason they're just still going for retail value. 80 bucks for this old tablet? It's older than the Intuos Pen & Touch, the one that I like. It's older than that and it's just as expensive I'm pretty sure um, I can get the pen and touch with you know the eraser pen for 80 bucks and that's just as much as this thing costs I don't know why it's so expensive still honestly it's not worth it if you can find this thing for like 40 bucks with the pen I'd say go for it but if it's anything more than 40 bucks with the pen then just stay stay clear from it it's not worth the money Honestly, if, you, if you're just getting into Osu and you want something quick, I'd recommend the G430 or the H420. Honestly, the Wacom options are only if you want to draw on the side or you really want to get super competitive with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, down in the description, there's the Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy the G430 or the H420. Um, it helps me out a little bit, and you don't pay any extra for the tablet. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.